Hello humans and welcome back to Seam Space Engineers with me, SK Drink. How you all doing? As you can see there's a large thruster attached to the ship right there. I made a couple changes. Uh, we have a new elevator. Uh, I don't need that up. Go away. Oh, I, I made some changes to this because when I connected up... Oh, let, me, let me show you what I did before I start talking about stuff that I had to do because I did it. Let's keep it less confusing. So I, I got two large hydrogen thrusters, one on the left, one on the right. And that's because where we are, this is the flattest area around and then we got down mountains on all the sides. And yeah, there, there's nowhere to drive. We need to get from here I'm thinking that way might be best, but it might be better going that way. I don't know, but we're going to go that way to see what is there, but, oh, oh God, Ooh, look at that, perfect. So two large hydrogen thrusters, that's to give us enough lift to actually fly over to there. Those are just temporary, I'm going to delete them, or grind them down, not delete, uh, grind those down once, uh, we get to a flatter area. Uh, this is the base for our drill. We'll be working on that relatively soon. So I had to pipe it up here. You know, I just connected it right there. And on this side right there. Uh, roop, uh, there here, I docked up the, the little miner. We're gonna bring that with us because right now we don't have any mining except for the little miner. And do where do we need to go? Oh, we need to go to the front of the ship. Or, the front of the vehicle. Hmm. So I got rid of all the catwalks, got rid of the elevator, and just put this in here. And we just hit the button. Boop. And it goes out. Oh, I covered up the rotors with catwalk. So this goes down to a 45 degree angle. And this one goes down to a 65 degree angle. Which, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm hoping that the rotors are strong or not are weak enough that they won't lift the vehicle when they hit bottom. I wanted to put a sensor to detect the planet, but it doesn't. I, the only setting you got is for asteroids, and that does not work. What I wanted to do once the sensor detected the planet, it would turn the rotors off. And hit the button. There we go. Come back up. And this looks a lot better from the front than having the elevator there. Yeah, I like that looking much better than having the, the elevator there. I'm happier with that. Oh, so the top one goes uh, negative or zero to negative 45 degrees. And then this one goes zero to 65 degrees. In case you want to set them yourself on your own rotors. And that's about it. So let us get going here. Oh, and because I added the uh, the small ship, it's connected. Uh, this here was showing uh, all the stuff from that ship on this also. So it was adding the reactors and batteries and its cargo onto that. And just cluttering up this stuff with stuff I didn't want to see. So I set this to only show items from this grid. And to do that, you go into custom data and you just put this space capital T colon star. And you can do a uh, capital G and only show things from a group name also. But that's not something I needed. Oh, those tires. Why are you... Oh wow. Their draw distance is not that great. Anyways, we need to go that way. Oh, no, not that far now. No, there we go. We hit tab. And we're going to need to turn on all our thrusters. See, the thing is, we don't have a whole lot of uh, thrust power here. Actually, what would be good is to put right up here. Temporarily. Let's uh, grab some stuff. Item D. Give me these, 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 these. 
Uh, bulletproof glass. Uh, displays. Yeah, yeah, Bulletproof glass. Let's do a temporary thing right here. We're gonna go G. Give it a sound block. I was trying to figure out a way to make an audio sound for it, but... Oops. Give me that. Are you facing the right way? Probably not. <gasps> you are. So we're gonna do, do bracket, LCD, close bracket, custom data. It's, uh, oh. Let's uh, go see what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't forgot already. Custom data, this. Control C. Uh, control V. I want to do uh, echo and then that. Okay. And then we got to relog to get this to work. There we go, and I just uh, increased it so we can get a good look at our hydrogen tanks and we know when we have to land relatively soon. I should have placed those up higher. Anyways, uh, let's uh, turn everything on. Uh, is there an all? Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, and one. And there we go. We're just uh, nice and easy flying. Watching. Once we get to fifty percent, we know we got to get closer to the ground. We're gonna stay close to the ground most of the time, anyways. Hopefully, nothing bad happens.
All right, well, as you can see, I had to throw on a couple more hydrogen tanks because we didn't make it that far off of those first, uh, those six there are just nowhere near enough for large thrusters. But we're here, and as you can see, I, I named this uh, Gold Lake because there's two patches of gold and silver on this lake. And there's another patch of uranium, and there's one here, but there's the iron, which is what I'm really looking for. Uh, loop. I want to see if this uh, freaks out and blows up. Uh, I want to add a, this one. Yeah, that turned them off. Oh, those need to move at the same speed. So let's uh, drop down. Where is these? Rotor, uh, if I hit him, rotor. This one go zero point seven five. Confirm. Does that move at a better speed? Oh, that that one's uh, still too strong. It just slides it. Okay. So let's drop this down to a 30 degree angle. Uh, U. Negative 30. Confirm. That's better. That's better. Let's go up here and turn them off. What I wanted is, yeah, I told you, if it sets the ground, it turn off. So, we made it here. Our base, is, where we started, is... Earth 1. We can't see Earth 1, really? That doesn't make any sense. Oops. Did we go more than 10,000 kilometers? 10,000 meters? 10 kilometers. Oh, there, yeah, we did. 12. There, oh, there we go. I can see it. Oh, oh, oh. Let me off of here. Alright, so we need iron here. Which is why we're here. And these lakes are actually pretty good landing spots. Now, this ship uh, needs a jetpack. And we're going to design a jetpack for this ship. Well, once we get the drill attachments put on. So, yeah, we came from way over there. Flew down and did a nice, nice soft landing on the ice sheet here and just drove around, which was really super easy. I was, I was surprised. I was, after the first flight of, you know, barely getting to the top of the hill that we started on. I wasn't sure if we were going to make it this far or not. But we had, we used 75% of our hydrogen getting to here. It's not bad. This isn't designed for flight. These are just stabilizers for over going over uneven terrain type thing, not for flying over mountains. That's what the jetpack's for. But here, we need to get some iron. Oh, oh, oh. Before, before I go and get iron here. So this here, this is the start of our drill. You know the drill we built on, uh, oh my. you know the drill we built on uh, Earth One there. That was our that was our test drill to see how it all worked. It was it was missing a couple pieces. Um, it had the uh, base. It had. 
the wrist, it didn't have an elbow, so it only moved, it, it, it didn't move properly. You couldn't scrape in, it was just a big straight line that just chomped into the ground. It, it should be able to chomp in and pull back, then fully extend and drop down a little bit and then scrape in uh, like uh, an excavator. If you've seen those kind of vehicles, that's that's what I'm going for for those. But let me jump in here. I'm gonna go turn this on so I know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go do some mining here. Get this iron. Whoa! It got really quiet. Quiet. But yes, I'm gonna go. Uh, Thought I had to go left a little bit. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Uh, P, two, three, five. Inventory. Uh, iron. All the iron should be going into refineries. Refine. Oh, I, I took them off. I didn't want to. I didn't want to see. I should be processing it as soon as they get it. They, they, this one here going, and I can't access its inventory. Why? Why can't I click that? They're they're processing it faster than they can even think about it. But if we look in here, we can see that's how much iron we have and it's it's going down really fast. We, we're getting ingots. We already have 20k, 21k ingots. Alright, so we need some steel plates. And I need to refill this bottle first. Oxygen. Uh, where's my hydrogen? Oh, I got I got a show empty. Hydrogen tank. There it is. I saw you. Come here. Fill this up. Oh, can you hold on to this for me? Thank you. Grab 500. Oh no, on. Uh, yeah, I, I made one hole. And this was way too close. I I was right above the iron when I just hit stone so I had to come back here do it from back here and get a better angle oh there's a hole, a hole in the plant you can see space oh, I filled back in and all the ice is gone so. and there's uh, uranium down here which we're definitely going to have to get dug up but I want to use our, our land crawler here to dig up that kind of stuff So, for our landing gear, now, what we're going to need is to stand up here on the tire, let's uh, clear off our bar, we're going to need, uh, should we go with heavy armor, no, let's do light armor, it, the moving stuff is not the easiest with rotors, and rotors, and landing gear. Okay, how big? This is uh, too tall and three wide. Okay. So we're gonna do a. F oh, that is not what I wanted. Right now. No, not the advanced rotor. The rotor. Yeah. Metro to fit the reference. Now, three.
Alright, I think I got it figured out here. It's not the prettiest, but it seems to be working. So, left lock. Reverse. Bonk. Nice. Of course, these legs are ugly as I don't know what, but you know, they're, they're legs. Can't really add much to them in the way of strength, I don't think. I don't think we can build here, can we? Uh, three. Yeah, no. Can't really put anything there. We can stick them out a little bit this way. Like on the top, maybe. Or something. There's not a whole lot we can do with that. I don't know, we'll figure out something. But let me show you how I did it. Just put some catwalks around the, the rotor there just to cover it up a little bit. A bit one more there. So, how we did this is quite simple. Alright, so we put our first rotor down. We yeah. Weld it up. Uh, we need large steel tubes. And we need to stand right here. So let's grab some large steel tubes. We're gonna need tons of them. It takes tons of them to all this up. We fully weld the base so it doesn't move when we build on it. Grab this one and that way. Angle block here. And I think it's three. It's three, right? Yeah, three. Put three of them, and then we put our other rotor basin inwards, and we weld that up real quick. Super, super easy, simple design. And then we put our little thing there, and the landing gear. Right there. It's not facing that way. Facing that way, right? Yeah, that's the back of it. Yeah. Like that. And we weld everything up. We ran out of steel plates. And do we have enough large steel tubes for this one? No, we need 12 more large steel tubes. 12 more of those. And all the steel plates. Jump. There we go. Alright, let's weld this up real quick. We need to take auto lock off of these. Oh, and I didn't name the other lane in here. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, landing gear. This one is not on the lock. That one's ready to lock. That one's unlocked. That's auto lock. So this is landing gear. This is left lock. This one that's ready to lock is the right lock. Did we take it off auto lock? <laughs> let's do that. All right, now let's grab our rotors. I see by oh and here this is LC's landing here and this one is LC's landing here. This one here is our mining ship. Gotta keep this all separate or otherwise it gets real confusing real fast, especially with uh, multiple inverters and all that stuff. So this one is white, so I know it's connected directly to the same grid I'm um, interacting with. So this is our uh, left top lock. And this is our left bottom lock. Our top lock is going to be going... Oh. Breaking torque on both of these is max. Our top lock. It is going 
Uh, cancel. It's going negative. Uh, rotor. Left top lock. Lower limit, negative 45. Confirm. Upper limit is zero. Confirm. It's going to be traveling on one rotation per minute. And I want to drop down the torque until it moves. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Let's get it coming back up. There we go. About there. Alright, the bottom one is going to go three times as far. So 45 and 45 is 90, and another 45 is negative 135. That's upper limit is zero. Firm, and it's moving at three times the speed. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lower down the torque until it moves, and then bring it back up. Yep, come back up. There we go. And see, these should all just be one group. Uh, uh, locking gears. Say, um, don't show those. Okay. Uh, where's the other one I put in here? That yeah, left lane. Let me give it that one. Alright, so locking gears. First thing is, this is 5. Confirm. We grab this and we just hit reverse. Both of these should move and stop at the same exact time. Bloop. Perfect. Why didn't you move? That, did I not add them? Rotors. Oh. Landing. Oh. Locking gears. LC rotors. Not four of them. But these are, oh, did I already have these down? So I need the right and right to reverse. Alright, now they're both down. Now let's tell them both to go up. At the same time. Ready? I know that. Locking gears. Reverse. This one's coming up. Both going up at the same time. Nice. Nice and smooth. And if we're driving, if we're moving at faster than 5 meters a second, the inverters all lock up. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could stick a panel on those. Gears. when this is down like this, so can I... Oh, I can't keep the ball. Right, let's just add this on there. there. And let's just hope it doesn't explode when I... Well... No, no, let's only blow up one side if I messed everything up. Locking gears. First. Ugh. Ah, beautiful. Okay, we're good. We are golden. Alright, so that's the locking gears. That's just to, to lock it down when we uh, start using our mining rig, which we will start building next episode. I'm just going to keep playing with these forever. I love that retractable landing gears. This is, you know, not my best work because I really didn't design this. Oh, oh my gosh. You're not welded. And 
just need a bunch of sixes on you. There and you get a six there, and then we spell that one. I think I can fit one on the clock. I need more interior plates. Weld. Right down here. Oh, come on. I love uh, the practical landing gear. It's just, it's just watching it move. Yeah, I can watch it all day. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Right there. Okay. So these will hold us in place, and they're not going to be super strong to hold us in place. The, the torque will give us some give. Hopefully, they don't get ripped to pieces. That's what the only thing I'm scared of. But. So yes, um, yeah. Let's uh, just fly up here. So this is the start of it here, here. It's gonna rotate 360 degrees. And it's gonna be able to fold in on itself. It's gonna be an arm, so, so you got your upper arm. It's, this this will basically be the shoulder. Actually, maybe it's the leg. It's really shaky up here. But this spins around, well, no, this is like your, your shoulder here. So this spins in a circle. Then you got your upper arm, which you know goes up and down. Then you got your lower arm, which does the same thing, up and down, except it goes in and out. And then it's gonna have the wrist, which can spin in all all directions with the drills attached. That's general idea. So that way you can like reach out and dig down and get stuff that we need. All right. Ooh, we're filled up. We can fly again. I really need to give it these. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Oh, and likes. Oh, you guys really liked the last episode. Thank you for all those likes. I really appreciate it. Take care.